Uh, so in this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. It's called a tenseguity structure because the structure has integrity through tension. You can see it's based on these strings. These are just normal strings. Of course, strings are only strong when they're pulled. And what's strange about it is it looks like it should just collapse and yet it seems to float almost as if magnetic and so you can take it apart like that. It's just normal strings. And yet when you put it like that, it's stable. It's pretty simple to build. So I've built this here just using parts of regular Lego Mindstorm. So if you have the regular Lego Mindstorms EV3 set, you've got everything you need. Obviously I'm not using the actual Mindstorms, just the bits, but you could also make this out of uh, lots of technical Lego bits. The important things are these, you need something like a right angle or, or this is a 245 degree angle. You need something like that because these are the crucial bits. So here's how to make it. So these are all the parts I used to make the structure. They're all standard parts of the Lego EV3, apart from the string, which is just ordinary string. So I use these parts to make the base. Then with the support coming up, the top structure, just use these pieces, use these pieces for some extra weight. And then this is the arm that comes down and various pegs to hold it all together. So now I'll show you what it looks like put together. So I'm not going to go through every bit of construction. So first of all, you need to make a base. Now this really isn't crucial at all, but it needs to be sort of roughly the same size, so maybe just a little bit bigger than the piece that's going to go on top because it needs to be stable. And then crucially, you need this support. So um, I'm using these kind of little pieces that come with the Mindstorms. They're very neat. And that allows me to uh, have this at a right angle, but um, you could use anything. Now you might also notice it's just a bit off center. So there's an even number. These are 10 holes. And so the center is right here. And this is just to one side. And that's because we're going to hang it off one side. So actually the string is going to be in the dead center of this piece. But this piece is just to one side. And then what we do is put a peg on here. And that's then going to be where our piece is going to hang from in the dead center of the base. For the... Uh, Top bit, again, it's not absolutely crucial. We're just making a uh, solid structure. Nothing needs to be super strong, but it needs to be rigid. But obviously everything's very lightweight. And again, we've got the crucial piece coming down straight vertically below. And again, I've offset it a bit. I've, put it, I've used these little pieces here to, um, to make this structure. I'll pull this off see how it works it's these it's these pieces I've got a rod going across here and then this piece and I can pivot this piece and again I'm going to make it so that one edge of it is in the center here and then that goes and completes this loop here so that we have a complete circle sort of loop anyway with this coming down. And you'll see that this end bit is roughly in the middle of the, uh, of the loop here, slightly a bit to one side. And that's important because we need this whole structure to be just slightly leaning over this way. So you'll, the other thing you'll notice, I've put extra weight here, exactly how much you can sort of play around with, but in general, the more weight you have on one side, the side opposite where your support is, the more stable the structure will be. Right now we're ready for the string. So we have a short bit of string. I've tied a little loop and that loop is going to hang on there. And then the other end can go through. And remember, we need to feed it through from the side. So it's going to hang on this side, which is the center. So this whole thing is a bit offset to this side. It's going to hang on that side. And now this string, it's not crucial, but it wants to be probably about half the distance from the top there to the bottom because you want it clearly levitating, but you also need enough string there. So we do that and then we can put a peg in that's going to hold it. So we now have that. So this whole thing can hang off this peg here, but of course is totally 
unstable. If I let go. So that's where the other two strings come in. So again, I've tied a little loop just to make it easy and I'm gonna feed it through and they're gonna be supported by these, on these corners, the little 45 degree corners here. So that's one. The other one through like this. So now I can hang this in the middle and then I feed this up through the corresponding 45 degree corner here. Now this is where the length need to be a little bit more crucial. So you want to hold this so that it's flat. So this is tight, this is tight, this is flat. And then we can just put a peg through to support it. Obviously you can then very easily adjust it afterwards if you need to. So that's one. We do the same with the other one. If you have someone to help you, it can be a little bit easier, but it's quite easy to do it itself. So again, I'm making sure this whole thing is level, keeping everything tight, putting the peg through. And then you have the moment of truth. And there you go. So you can see it's leaning a bit. So these are probably a tiny bit long. So I can pull the pegs out, and shorten it just a little. the same on this side. And now, there I have my seemingly quite magical structure. Of course, once it's done, we can also then trim off any extra bits of string just to make it look neater. Like these. There you go. Ten secretary structure made with Lego Mindstorms.